Hey, second grade, are you ready for your art lesson with your friendly neighborhood art teacher? We're going to be working more with our found object art. When we started talking about found item art or found object art, Miss Franz does tend to pick, uh, jump back and forth between those two forms. We also started talking about materials. The materials that an artist uses to make their art is called a media. Found object or found item art means that you make artwork out of objects that you find and don't change them. But that's not necessarily what we're going to do today. We're going to do artwork that's on top of an item that we have found or I asked you to save. You can see some examples here. People have painted on top of um, plastic bottles. Somebody is drawn on top of an old wooden thread spool. The first week that we started doing this, we made a face out of found items. The second week, we made a face and a body out of found items, which I showed here that my husband did. This week, you're going to be making something, you're going to be making artwork on a found item. Last week I asked you to start saving things like cereal boxes or soda boxes or toilet paper or paper towel tubes. This week you'll be doing your artwork on them. Guys, please make sure that you are getting your mom and dad's permission before you start working on things. I want you to make sure that you are working on something that is accept that it is acceptable for you to be working on. Don't just grab a bunch of paper towels and dump them all out and then say I need to use this tube. It's okay if you don't immediately have something to work on. We're going to talk about some other things that you can do. Oops, not my document camera. Screen. There we go. So, Let's look at some examples of some artwork that we have seen, that I found, looking on the internet. You've got cereal boxes. This is what I mean by making artwork on the item. You're not changing the item too much. It's okay that you cut, the, that they cut the little square out so the teddy bear could make it, you know, look even more like a car. But we're going to be working on the item itself. You are welcome to cut something like you can still tell that all of these things came from plastic bottles, but they have been cut. I would like to point out that it is very difficult to cut plastic bottles safely. If your mom or dad or an older responsible adult can help you cut a plastic bottle, that's fine. Guys, students, please do not cut plastic bottles on your own. If you have paint, you're more than welcome to paint these things. Or you can just use some kind of paper towel or paper tube rolls. I decided I really liked that little bat, so I made my own version of the bat. I took an old toilet paper tube and I've pinched the tops and I was able to paint it black. Now, the choice is yours. You know what kind of materials you have. You come up with your own idea. You are more than welcome to look around on Google and find some ideas. Um, if you want to Google, you know, uh, plastic bottle crafts, that can help you. If you Google paper tube crafts, that might help you. You can also use cereal boxes. You can use um, boxes like the uh, soda cans come in. You can use Amazon boxes. But I want to know what you used when you give me your paper or give me your project. So I do want to be able to tell, oh, that's now, or, oh, that's a box. Oh, that's a soda bottle. Oh, that was a tube. Things like that. Um, Let's do some other reminders. Please ask before you use something. Like I said, we're not wasting a whole bunch of other materials just so you can get to one toilet paper or some paper tube or something like that. Uh, put things back where you can, it, where you found it if you can. Uh, clean up any messes you make. 
and be careful when you're cutting. Again, these are not easy to cut by yourselves. Please, please, please get an adult to help you. Um, let me talk to you about down the road. We're going to continue working with things that are uh, found items. So you can keep looking for more cereal or you can keep collecting more cereal boxes. Plastic bottle tops work great. Uh, plastic tops or tubs like butter containers, buttons, tin foil straws, the plastic bottles. Um, also, as I've had some friends point out to me, junk mail will be a great way to get a hold of some colored paper and other things that you might use. So moms and dads, if you're listening, this might be a really good way to empty out some junk mail. I'm going to walk you through a little to uh, a, a little paper tube craft that I have just so you can see. Remember, you don't have to copy mine. I'm happy to see that you found something out there that you want to do. So I am going to pull up my document camera. Before I get started, I am going to point out that this guy has been painted. I have acrylic paint at home and then some felt. If you don't have any kind of paint, it's okay. You can still use markers. And you can still use markers on things like a plastic bottle. It shows up, although I will warn you, until it dries, it's very easy to smudge. So you gotta let it sit and dry, and you can work with that. Uh, if you happen to have A Sharpie. Sharpie actually stays better on plastic, but again, it, you just have to let the other one dry and it'll work out just as well. So you can color on um, a plastic bottle if you, would, if you would like. If you have some paints, you may explore. So let's talk about what I mean by a craft. It doesn't have to be super complicated. I saw this really cute little craft. And let's see if I can imitate it a little bit. And it had a so it was a little fox face. Now, since I'm not going to paint it, I'm going to take my and I'm not going to color the whole thing because it will take me a few minutes to do that. But if I color at least all the way around the top, you'll see what I'm going to so now that I've drawn the top of the fox's head I can bend that one down a little bit and I can bend this one down a little bit and now it looks like my fox has got some little ears and I can finish coloring these little spots so I can fill that in And I can color in up here too. And then the last thing I would do is give him like a little tail back there. Again, I'm not going to spend the entire time just coloring. That would be boring for you to watch. So that's what I mean by something that's just simple, a, a simple craft on a found object. I'm not looking for you to make something super complicated. Um, I know that it would take me a while to keep coloring in my little fox friend here. I know it will take you a little while too. That's okay. I just want to see that you have gotten artwork on a found object and I want to be able to identify it. If I were to cut this little guy up in little pieces and I, if I couldn't tell that it was a toilet paper roll anymore, then I wouldn't know that it was a found object. So do make sure that it's easy to tell it's a found object and I will see you guys later.